Back in the garage today with the old S10. Got a special package. Wonder what's in it. I don't know. Might be something to have to do with the. Uh, it might might have to do with the wheels. Just kidding. It's fuel. Woo. So what all do we got in here? Some vibrant performance. Dash 10 fuel line, a ton of fittings down at the bottom, and then we got Magna Fuel pump. A uh, what's this? This is the pre filter and the post filter. So I think we're ready to build us a fuel system. If you saw in one of the other videos, I already got the tank installed, and I got my dash 16 to a uh, three inch MPT ball valve down to a three inch uh, or down to a three quarter MPT ball, ball valve back to dash 12. And then from dash 12 here, we're gonna have dash 12 go into this uh, pre filter and then pre filter to pump, pump to post. I'm hoping I can squeeze all that in in this gap here if not uh the gap between the you know if not i'm gonna have to do the pre-filter and then the pump and then probably do the 90 go down underneath the truck and have the post filter underneath the truck i'd like to have it all on the bed but if i can't then that's just how it is that's just how it be i guess i'll start with putting the fittings into the pre-filter all right so since we're already at the fuel pump i figured i'd go ahead open it up do a little unboxing for you of course my least favorite thing on the planet packing peanuts inside here is big old fuel pump if i read the uh, listing right uh, obviously this is overkill this pump is rated for up to 2500 horsepower which is insane but i guess she moves some fuel got to come with those ever important stickers i will say the sticker is ripped very disappointed very sad this is a magna fuel 750 Pro Star EFI series. It's compatible with gasoline and alcohol. Wink, wink. Excess of 2,500 HP. See that right there? Awesomeness. So they're not even recommending a post filter, which is interesting. So worst case, Ontario, if it doesn't fit, I guess we don't have to use the post filter. I'd like to, just to save the injectors and stuff. But interesting shiny and beautiful wow i wanted to go with the uh, all black version but of course the all black version is like twenty dollars more or something like that or maybe even more so i did not go with the all black version because i'm cheap looks pretty sweet i like the uh how little it interferes with the uh fuel line how, how little space it takes up you only got like two and a half three inches right there coming out of your uh, total space dash 10 ORB fittings little mount plate on the bottom big old honking electric motor for all that fuel pressure sweet so let's go ahead and get these guys situated All right, so I had a little bit of a change of heart there. Uh, what I'm gonna do instead of putting that post filter on the end of that, I'm gonna go ahead and either put it underneath or not put it on at all after reading through those instructions. It looks like they don't actually necessarily recommend one. And even though I, it probably would be a safer thing to use, 
if I'm going to be running this thing at a uh, pretty high flow, which I am with the uh, alcohol, you need a higher flow because uh, the burn rate to get the right air fuel mixture is, is uh, it requires more fuel than gasoline. Basically, you need more alcohol to do to get the same thing done. Um, whether you're using ethanol, E85, E90, or uh, methanol. But anyway, going off on a tangent there. It also looks like I'm not going to have enough room the way it is. So I went ahead and put this 90 on here so I can shoot it out over the wheel well. Um, or, or around the wheel well. It'll come up and then shoot back down and go through the bed. So I'm going to go ahead and not fully tighten everything down but kind of get it in place where it's going to be so i can mark out these holes for this plate underneath drill those and then we should be able to permanently bolt that in Well, I think the GoPro crapped out in the middle of the time lapse there. Thanks, GoPro. But uh, I got the bracket installed. I got to tighten the nuts on the underside of it, but it's there. And then got a little system in place here. So I'm pretty proud of that. It looks pretty good. I'm not sure what 100% I'm going to do about this 90 yet. If I'm going to just have the hose come off this and then loop back down. Or if maybe two 90s to get it a 90 here, 90 there, and then down. Um, not 100% sure, but suppose I will figure that out for now. Pretty happy with it. Big old filter. Got the shut off valve in case you ever need to clean the filter. You can shut the fuel off, or if you wanna just clean the fuel system. If the pump needs changed, whatever. It's in, it's pretty solid. Pretty happy with it. So, next I guess I'll start messing with the hose. So naturally, next step in the process of installing the fuel pump, you got to power it. So I got this conveniently labeled fuel pump relay already wired up. Everything's already done. All I gotta do is wire up this yellow wire. That's the uh, power. The signal comes from the ECU, so that yellow is the power. Wire it up, feed it through the hole there, back up through here to this red wire. That's hard to see back here. But to this red wire on the fuel pump, and then black wire, wire that up. Come, I could either go straight to the battery ground, which I may do, because it's really convenient. It's right here. Or I could run through there, through the hole in the uh, bed floor, and bolt it onto part of the frame. But I'll probably just go to the battery since it is right conveniently there. All right, so I got this little uh, grommet thing put in. Um, that'll keep this uh, hose from getting cut on the bed. And um, so then again, just waiting on that last 90 to show up before I can attach it here. And then I got that hose run underneath the truck coming up through here. And it's going to be terminated and go into this guy, the first fuel rail. So, at the moment, trying to, uh, so that, that's what's next, is cut this uh, hose, bring it up here, cut it at the right length, make sure it's secured underneath, so I know we're at the right length. And then, 
cut install this guy I got the back um, crossover line on and then come over here where I will hang our fuel pressure regulator off this end I got the Holly pressure sensor fuel pressure sensor got that not installed but I just set it on there so I could get an idea this is gonna be kind of tight in here it looks like I'm gonna to have to install this and then install the fuel pressure sensor which is okay I just don't really want to torque on the fuel rail that much so I will go ahead and do that or maybe for now that's what I'll do in the future I'll probably get one of the 45 fittings so that it can sit right here like this or something but this will go back to the computer and then this I'll need to pull this out and put a vacuum line in it from my vacuum block back here and that'll be our boost reference for increasing the fuel pressure one one to one boost reference one more psi of fuel pressure per uh, psi of boost so and then plug one of these plug this guy probably have this come from the fuel rail and then this will go to the return this is how you adjust the fuel pressure and we will get to that eventually maybe not in this video So that's pretty much going to finish it up for the fuel system here. I got the feed and return lines coming in. Feed goes in this rail, rear crossover, and then comes over here to the pressure regulator, which is now plugged into the Holly. Um, and then the return comes out, goes back up to the tank. Um, the last few things I need to do, first off, uh, attach this vacuum line, run it under here over to or vacuum block which I need to get another uh, like quarter barb fitting for this right now I have two more on here but those are uh, one for each turbski so I need to get another one plug it in probably over here that one will sneak over here to this guy or I could run one over here and tee it for the turbo but uh, I kind of don't want to do that just so I know that the turbo is getting an accurate pressure so I got to do that I gotta get a um, 8 RB plug for this side. Uh, generally, how you can run these is have a Y fitting at the back, run it up the blocks, and then have them come together at the regulator up here. And that might be better, honestly, but for now, this is gonna work. I'm not pushing to make stupid uh, power numbers yet. So, even though this isn't the ideal system, it'll work for now. Um, so I'll just plug this off for now. Uh, but once that's done, you gotta fire up the fuel pump, use this to adjust the pressure watching it on the Holly, make sure that we got the right fuel pressure. Coming back here, 
I ran the return line up through the bed, like the feed. Here's the feed. I also need to get my elbow, which is in the mail, but not here yet. That elbow will 90 up from the pump attached to this guy. And then feed will be done. And then return, I ran back up into my push lock return fitting at the top of the tank. This vent fitting, I kind of don't like that because if it sloshes around a lot, some fuel might get up in this filter. So I might run this over here, maybe away from the battery over to that side and have that filter up there. Just so that fuel has kind of a harder path to get through if it's sloshing really bad. Hopefully it won't be sloshing that bad. But since this is on the rear of the tank and all the fuel will move to the rear when it launches, there's a good chance that if on a full tank, it might come up here. So I'll take care of that. That's no big deal. I'll get that done. Other than that, fuel system's ready to go. Sorry, the bed's full of junk for another video. Pretty happy with it. I think this MagnaFlow system is pretty sweet. It looks awesome. This pump is sweet. I kind of wanted the black one, but I'm happy with this blue color. I think it it just looks really good. It looks really good in person. You probably won't be able to tell on the video. This is kind of an off gray, which isn't the best color in the world, but um, I like that too. This thing should push some freaking fuel pumped about that so that's about it for now if you like the build feel free to subscribe i'd really like it it'd be awesome uh the more people that subscribe and like and watch this junk the faster i can get this done so again thanks for watching especially if you made it this far you're awesome and i'll see you in the next one